Hey, Jesus Castillo here from rubyguides.com. In this video, you're going to learn about numbers in Ruby. Specifically, you're going to learn about integer and float division. And also, we're going to talk a bit about operator precedence. So let's do this. So integers are the regular whole numbers that we use in in Ruby. So five is an integer. Fact is a class integer. So you can see you can do dot class, and you can use this in uh, on any Ruby object like strings, right? And it tells you the class of that object. In this case, five is an integer, and 50,000 is also an integer, right? All of the whole numbers, also negative numbers, are whole numbers, no decimals, are integers. So if we do some math with integers, just like you would do in a calculator, and we do 5 divided by 2, maybe you would expect 2.5, so 2.5, because if you divide five things in half, you get two and a half. But when you do integer di divided by another integer, you always get an integer as a result, right? So let's say that we want two and a half as a result. What do you have to do? Well, one of these two numbers, only one, has to become a float. So a float is the numbers in Ruby that, that have decimals, right? And there's two ways, mostly two ways to get a floating point number in Ruby. One is to take an integer like two and then make it a float. And uh, here I'm using a method and the method is called two underscore f. You might be familiar with this kind of method because there is also to i, which means to integer. There is also to s, which is to string. But in this case, I'm using to f, which means convert into a float. OK, so basically, if we take the two, I will create a float for us. And as a result, when you divide an integer or a float uh, by a float, what you get as a result is a float, OK? Uh, it doesn't have to be on this side of the operation. And as you can see, the 5 can also be a float. And again, we get this as a result. Right now, I prefer doing this another way, which is to use a float directly. So if you can, if what if you can control one of these numbers, if one of these numbers is hard code, meaning it doesn't change, it's already directly written in the code. You can do this, right? So this is an integer, this is a float. The only thing I did to make it a float is I added uh, a decimal point, right? So now if we do this, if we want to do class, we get an, we get, now we get the float class, right? Because Ruby knows this is a floating point number and there it goes. Same thing if you do it like that or like that, right? So the point here is that if you're working with numbers, you need to know this, right? So you don't get surprised by this behavior. When you divide one number like this, you get whole number and integer. If one of the two is a float, then you get a float. OK, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you. And also this class method, which is very helpful, and the conversion method. So we already covered a lot in using this video. And 
While we are on this topic of numbers, I also want to show you something else very quickly. And that's this. This is called operator precedence. So when we do this, and we have this div division and this addition, right? The order in which this happens is not only left to right, but it also matters which symbol you're using. In this case, division happens before addition, right? And we can change this by using parentheses, just like you would do in actual math in a calculator or whatever. And of course, that changes the result. So that's another thing that's important to know. I actually seen an interview question that asks these two things. It asks you to get a floating point number as a result of a division. I also ask you to change the order of operations. And that's how you do that. And there is one more thing about floats. If you're going to be working with floats, uh, is that they are not exact. So here's what I mean. If I do three minus two dot nine, what do you expect? Well, you might expect, expect 0 0.1, right? As the result. But what actually happens is yes, you get 0 0.1, but also you get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 9. And you might think, well, why does this matter? Because if I try to do this, then I get false. And that's a bit of a problem, right? So that's another thing that you need to know about floats, floating point numbers, that they are not exact. So this also, if you don't know this, you can also get into some problems. Now there are exact numbers in Ruby and other um, strategies that you can use. But like, for example, you can use, uh, instead of exact comparison, you can use a range comparison, right? There's also a class in Ruby called Big Decimal that you can use if you want more precise um, numbers. Okay, so we cover integer and floating point division. We cover the float class methods or the float. Um, we cover the class method, this one. And we cover operator precedence. And we also cover that floating point numbers are not exact. And the reason this happens is because how these numbers are stored in memory. They use a very specific format that is, it can be very fast, but as a result of how this format is stored, it, some precision is lost when you make operations like this. Okay. So I hope you learned something new. If you like this video, please click the like button for me so I know that you like it and so more people can find it and benefit from this information. If you want to keep learning, watch more of my videos now right here in this channel. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and visit my website, rubyguides.com, rubyguides.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video.